Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Dime Box Discoveries. I was able to hit up the Eastgate Mall show on the east side of Cincinnati. Ran into my guy Chris there, uh, Chris Flint. He's got uh, some of the best dime boxes around. You can catch him at the Eastgate show or at the Xenia show up outside of Dayton. Both those on a monthly basis. So look for Chris. He's fantastic. He has glasses and a beard. I know it sounds like every dealer there, but look for a guy with a lot of dime boxes, other good stuff. Um, his name's Chris. He's fantastic. Let me show you what he had for me. I picked up 370 dime cards, which for me is a lot, but it only cost me 20 bucks because I traded into some stuff that he was looking for. So I'll show you what I was able to pull out of there. And we get started right off the bat with an 89 Tops traded rookie Deion Sanders card, which is awesome. Followed up with a Greg Maddox. This is out of the Baseball Cards magazine, uh, one of those oddball ones. Unlicensed Roger Clemens, the Action Superstars. And how about a couple of the uh, Stadium Club Ultra Pros? Remember these? You bought the um, Ultra Pro pages and you had Willie Mays, Barry Bonds. If you know me, you know I love my Sports Illustrated for kids with a green board, especially Tim Raines. Another unlicensed card that is from the Keith Hernandez series. And one more Ultra Pro card, Bobby Bowe and the Fantastic Shirt. So moving right along. So like I said, we got 370 to get to. Cost me 20 bucks and some trade. These are all parallel cards. So you see what I mean? So you got top school winners of Alan Trammell, Andre Dawson, Bobby Bow, uh, Bernie Williams. There's Roger Clemens in the 93, 94, Jeff Bagwell. Now, these are pretty cool. These are those first day uh, production issue cards from same, top Stadium same clubs, Jimmy Key. There's Harold Baines, Skeeter Barnes, Damon Easley, Benavides. Now, I know these don't have a lot of value, but they do have trade value on tcdb.com for people who are looking for um, stuff. For their sets and um, and team collections, so that's why I picked those up. The Rainbow Gold out of Top Stadium Club here is Gant, Justice, and McGriff, Rodriguez, Man Ram. Once again, these don't have high dollar value per se, but they do have great trade value on there. People trying to complete team sets or just player sets. There's Bagwell, some Electric Diamond out of Upper Deck. There's Ivan Rodriguez, Rob, Roberto Al Alomar, Bernie Williams, who is a great um, jazz musician. Julio Franco, who's probably still playing the game of baseball somewhere. Cliff Floyd. So these carry just a lot of good trade value on TCDB. There's Jeff Bagwell and the Silver Signature. Um, these are the uh, Gold Rush. Yep, that's a uh, Chrome Sepia Refractor. Um, and then these are Gold Rush. These are great because there's Randy Johnson, Jim Tomei. So a lot of Hall of Famers are Orhersheiser. Kent, what's going on, man? My BG guy. There's a Falcon for you. Um, keeping it up with Reigns, Gossage. Ramirez again, Eddie Murray, Strawberry C. And then these are really cool. So you find the silver signature all the time. These are the gold signatures, which are really cool. They're not overly rare or anything. They're just neat. You don't run across them a lot for a diamond piece. I was happy to pick them up. Once again, great trade value. You see, not really any real stars in this, but some good trade value in there. There's Paul O'Neill in the Hall of Gold and a silver signature, Eddie Murray. So some good stuff there that will make for some good trade bait. Um, hopefully on TCDB and some of the others. Now, if you know me, you know I collect all the, I get after the um, cereal cards and the food stuff cards from the 80s and 90s. This is post from 1994. I grabbed all these, not paying attention, just grabbed a stack of them. It's 27 of the 30. It's nearly a complete set, just missing three of them. As I look through, I think Gwen's one of them. I probably got that somewhere in my boxes over here somewhere else. Um, so that's really cool. Basically, it's a complete set. And a couple, and there's two of some of them doubles of some. One of the doubles is Griffey. So that, that's a good doubles to have. Here's 90 posts from McGuire and, and Ripken. 91 posts from McGuire's. Will Clark, Roger Clemens, Brett, and a couple of Puckets. Clemens and McGuire in the 93 posts. Some Jimmy Dean Sausage came with Barry Bonds, Frank Thomas, Tony Gwynn. It's a Hostess. Uh, Sandberg, Captain Crunch, Kirby Puckett there. There's Henderson, Ralston, Prina, and there's the Milk Bones, Wally Joyner. I am at the rate I'm going. I'm going to end up having that Milk Bones set here done, even though I wasn't even chasing it. It's just falling into my lap. Um, I love the winter cards from the top. It's black gold and really cool. This is the A and B, all those guys together. That's fantastic. Here's the winner A. Here's the winner C, but it's actually a typo because you can see it's actually they're both winner A. Um, also, one thing I learned from this, you probably know this. I didn't know it the other day, and I feel kind of foolish. See, the backs are different. It's because this one was redeemed. This came back with it because it told you you had these ones you had to send away. So these ones are unredeemed. This one is redeemed. So if you're trying to get all of them, 
That's one way to tell the difference. So that's an unredeemed winner A and B, which don't come up. They're not rare, but they're not common. I'll put it that way. If you know me, you know I collect Mark McGuire's. I didn't know what I needed, what I did and didn't need. Instead of pulling up my uh, list and checking through it, I just grabbed one of each. So that's what I did on Mark McGuire's just to see what I need. Um, how about some pop culture ones? This is a 1981 Fleer Pac-Man sticker. That is so cool. Horribly stained, but still really cool. And then how about a Donatello and a Leonardo uh, individual cards from the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? Those are really cool. So I was happy to grab those for a diamond piece. These are some of the older players, not necessarily older cars, but older players. There's Nolan Ryan with the Allen and Ginter back. That's a nice one, apparently. There's Joe DiMaggio. That's from the Dover. The Dover reprints, I think, from 78. That's just really cool. Lou Boudreau and uh, Jimmy Dykes. Something from 82. I don't remember what that is. How about a printer-proof Ted Williams? I love these Topps Gallery, and to be a printer-proof of Ted Williams is even cooler. Hank Aaron, Yogi Berra. And there's another Yogi Berra in that 91... 1991-1953 Tops reprint set. Babe Ruth out of uh, something. It's just, it looks great. How about a Reds history card that has Frank, I think it's Frank Robinson's story, not about the Reds. There's Frank Robinson, that's really cool. Um, National All-Stars. Jordan Maggio out of the score. Bunch of Jackie Robinsons. I'm always going to pick up Jackie Robinson dime box. I've seen There's Ted Williams again. Stan Musial. These are the baseball time greats. There's the action pack, Lou Gehrig. Billy Williams, check that out. That is the uh, Circle K. There's no Hank Aaron. And then Campy Robinson and Gibson and Alton Ginter. Gaylord Perry and Joe Pagan in these, they're like all-time um, Giants cards. Oh, these are 1962 National League Champion cards. Not from 62, from 1981, but still cool. Jim Palmer, Ali Grover, Cleveland Alexander, and uh, Bucky Dent. And some from like 78, some kind of Yankee set. Here we go. These are actually older cards. These are Hostess for a dime. Thurman Munson, which is awesome, but you can see horrible creasing, horrible standing, and I don't know if someone like was on a bus while they were trying to cut this out. It's all sideways, but it's still cool to have a Thurman Munson Hostess for a dime. There's Keith Hernandez. There's John Denny. Uh, George Brett, 1981 sticker, which is cool. Winfield, 81 top. Sutton and Morgan, 81 Donruss. So there is 1981. Um, actually, I think it's an 82 Winfield. 81 tops, Fisk, Necro, Whitaker, Jack Morris. There's a Clemens. There's another Bucky Dent that was in there before. Just this random guy pulled out of, um, because of his, his old, uh, it's an old minor league card. Sometimes guys want that in trades. And there's a Dave Winfield, Diamond Kings. How about some old football? Some vintage football, you say? Yes, I say. And we have it for you. How about Bill Kilmer? Billy Kilmer. It's actually not in too bad a shape. Maybe a soft corner down there, but... Really nice being a Billy Kilmer being in 1976. Joe Ferguson, Roman Gabriel, a uh, couple Dan Fouts in action. And then I pick up a lot of the team cards. This is from 1986. Yep, 1986. I like these ones. So I'm trying to get all of them. I don't know which ones I had, so I just bought, bought whichever ones I saw. Tony Hunter went to my high school, so I picked that one up. Some more team cards there. I'm working on only 1,000 yard club cards. There's a couple more to add to the collection. Gary Anderson rookie card. Rob Carpenter went to Miami University. The Red Hawks, where I went. Uh, Jack Thompson, the throw in Samoan for the Bengals. Yep, that's a rookie card for Jack Thompson. Marvin Cobb from the Bengals. Craig Morton in 1980 tops. Um, something from the Bengals. Barry Sanders and Bo Jackson. These are really cool. These are Ohio State cards. I can't remember either. I think they're 1990 or something like that. But they're put up by Kroger in the Ohio um, State University Police Department. Never come across it before, even though I live in Ohio. So that is really cool to see those. And these are really neat. Monsters of the Gridiron. They came out in cases of Coke back around Halloween, back in the 90s. I love these as a kid. I'm going to work on this set eventually. So that is just really, really cool. Um, those are really neat. I was happy to grab those. A couple of David Justice because he's from the Cincinnati area. And I grabbed guys who are from the Cincinnati area. Speaking of Cincinnati area, how about the Cincinnati Reds? I pick up Reds cards that make sense because they have a lot of trade value for me around my area. But this one is just cool to begin with. It's a cons card. So a hot dog company and other meats. Very, very Cincinnati company. Even though they sold off, they're still very Cincinnati and very true to Cincinnatians. So they have a Barry Larkin and that. It's from 1989. Cons is awesome. These big red machine cards you don't come across, across a lot either. That's from Klosterman Bakery, um, which is really cool. So those, those are going to be great, great trade bait. 
Eric Davis in the Topps Glossary All-Star. Eric Davis is, was um, a giveaway at uh, Long John Silver's back in the day. There's Larkin and Chipper Jones. There's Bear Larkin and the Dream Team. Mario Soto, highly underrated. There's Eric Davis, Master Blaster, Pete Rose Jr., and then a team card, because I'm working all the 87 Topps team cards as well. Here are some oddballs. I had cards like this as a kid, these two. They're actually out of a uh, Fruit Snacks pack. You got me about Fruit Snacks back in like 1990 or something like that. Yeah, 1990. So sun uh, Grower, so it's like a Fruit Snacks thing. This is now the second one of these types of cards I've come across. It was something you could have sent away and put your name on. And so kids had these, you know, you could put your name on it. I buy them because I find it's like taking their soul. I feel like I own this kid's soul now. Like in The Simpsons, if you watch the one Bart sold his soul to Millhouse, I feel like I now have this guy's soul plus one other that I have exactly the exact same thing you could send away and get that. So anyway, I now own two souls. This was really unexpected. And I didn't even know what this was until I got home and couldn't find it online with stuff. These are an insert on opening day. Um, they come in one every 679 packs. Walk this way celebrating the walk-off home run hitters. One in every 679 packs. So that might have been the steal of the show. So that's really cool for Cody Bellinger there. Another printer proof, Michael Confarto. Um, here's, uh, you know, Sports Flicks with Ripken in there as one of them. Uh, uh, Kenny Lofton and Ryan Klesko as a minor leaguer. I just always find entertaining. Let's go to some 1987 stuff. Now, these aren't 87 tops. These are 87 OPG, which is great because if you look on some of the trading places, people are always looking for OPGs to finish off their sets and their personal collections and their team sets. So, Strawberry Hernandez, a couple Garvey's, Todd Worrell, Pina Cavalia, a couple Brett Saberhagen's, Ron Guidry, Kirk Gibson, Fred Lynn and Lance Parrish. So, no huge stars are in there, but some nice stars anyway. 87 Donners from Griffin, Brett, and an 87 Fleer, Andreas Galarraga. So, those are actually pretty decent. Not much hockey because I didn't go through the hockey. I stuck only baseball, but there were a couple hockey cards mixed into the baseball. A couple Wayne Gretzky and Prosa along with Mario Lemieux and Wayne Gretzky in the ultra. So, uh, you know, you see Gretzky for a dollar, you kind of pick it up. Or for a dime, you pick it up. How about these for a dime? The Bo Jackson Bow Breaker cards. Those are awesome. I love that. The Bo Jackson All-Star card, but these are very desirable cards. That's cool. Dream Team Stewart, a couple Kings of Swing with Gonzalez and Bell. Just a Bo Jackson regular stadium club. Bobby Bonds Jr. Uh, Ichiro. Tim Raines in the Boardwalk and Baseball set. Tony Gwynn. Um, that's just something shiny. Edgar Martinez in something shiny. You Crash the Game in something shiny for Cecil Fielder, which is cool. Man Ram rookie card. There's a stadium club Ripken. More Ripken. A whole bunch of Ripkins here. As you can see, ripping some Ripkins. Um, that's just a neat card with Ripken. More Ripken. Griffey Jr. and Thomas in the uh, score all-stars. There's more Griffey. Here, these are the special edition with uh, Van Slyke, Boggs, um, Abbott, Fielder, Henderson. There's a Chipper Jones. Some more Bagwells. Bagwell and Larkin. And there's you crash the game Bagwell as well. I just thought those were kind of neat, so I grabbed those. Keep on moving because we still got a little bit more to go. Not a ton more, so stick with me. Here is a Rediscover Tops which I buy any other dime boxes because, once again, if somebody's looking for the one if they're a Dave Henderson collector. But this is actually the gold one, which is not easy to find. Those are a little more hard to find. Usually you find the bronze or maybe the red or the blue, but that's actually gold, which is really cool. Here's the blue border version of Sterling Marte and Kettle Marte. Pull holes. These are the metallic ones. You can actually feel the raised uh, uh, off of the card. So Nick Solik and Brandon Belt. Uh, also, the raised one on the holiday series, different year for DJ LeMayu. I don't know. It's gold. I, I, whatever. Um, Tony Gwynn, Ken Caminiti, and Dante Bichette. It just looked pretty. Woo. So, did not look through basketball boxes either, but came across some basketball in the tops and just the foot and the baseball boxes. But check it out. A couple of Michael Jordans. You rarely find Michael Jordan in dime boxes. So, that is a great find with the Jordans. A whole bunch of the Team USA, these ones do pretty well. And what's interesting is you look through these, they're all great. So you notice some of these are like farther away, like full body shots. Then you get down here and they're more, see, Magic and Magic, two different. They look different because they are different. This one was out of McDonald's. This one was out of the regular NBA hoop set. See, different cards, different backs. So the close ones are out of hoops. 
The farther ones, full body shots are out of McDonald's. Now you learn a little something. But these are fantastic. I love these people are always looking to trade for these. Um, there's a Stockton. There's a Shaq. Teresa Edwards, fully underrated player. Total awesome badass. Picked it up. This is the offer card. And you say, why did you pick that up for a dime, Jeff? You're crazy. And you're right. But every now and there are people looking for these just to finish their sets because a lot of people threw these away. Um, Larry Johnson and a hologram thing. More Shaq. How about some, uh, I think these are 1992. These are Harlem Globetrotter cards. So that is really cool. And uh, yeah, so David Robinson and some unlicensed stuff. And Penny Hardaway because it is the uh, Players Club. Um, not done yet. It looks like it, but I'm not. There are also a bunch that I picked up that came in top loaders. So they came with the top loaders. Forget the, forget the dollar amount. These are actually all a dime a piece. So you got the top loader for a dime, and the card was free inside of my mind. Clout 9 Larry Walker. This one goes pretty good. Larry Walker, this is actually the extra edition, which is really cool. Uh, once again, it's sort of like the parallel set. There's the Home Run King. These apparently are kind of in demand. Fred McGriff. And then how about some artist proof? The shiny ones here with score. Um, nobody impressed them. Marquise Grissom might be the biggest name. There's Tettleton. So, but just picked up some of those that are cool. Um, these are uh, whatever showcase something showcase series with Larry Walker and Craig Biggio. I love the Sports Illustrated ones with Jay Buhner there. That's just cool with him and his son. There's Yount and Brett in the three thousand hits. Here's on deck with uh, Chipper, Tony Gwynn, and um, Frank Thomas. There's Ripken. Some more Ripkins. How about uh, some Maddox you see? So there's a Maddox Electric Diamond, which is cool, and a Biggio Electric Diamond. And one last stack, once again, for the diamond piece, it's almost worth it just for the top loaders because they're clean top loaders too. Bagwell, Bagwell with the die cut out of there. Bagwell, 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 Bagwell. That's the hollow gold, which is cool. Bagwell, and that's something. Bagwell, rookie card out of the uh, Upper Deck High Series. So Bagwell, Tops Trophy, I like it, and it comes with the top loader. Bagwell, I got a bunch of Bagwells. I'm going to need some Bagwells. Here's a couple more Maguires that I wanted for the top loader and for Maguire. How about Babe Ruth? A couple Babe Ruths. That's cool. Another first day edition. That one of Tony Fernandez. Um, Nomar, Manny in the 2K. Um, Clyde Drexler. That was just, I just saw it sitting on top of one and I, I like the, the art cards if you know me. So I was like, eh, top loader plus art card works for me. There's another postcard. There's another postcard. Another postcard. And then here are two of these. These are only cards that weren't dimes. These were 50 cents a piece, actually. Forget the dollar, 50 cents a piece. And uh, Marshall Falk and Emmett Smith. And I'm working my way through towards that complete set. So that would be awesome when it's done. These look like they're 1994, not the 1993s. They must have done two of these. I'm going to look it up and see. Anyway, that's what I got. Fantastic show haul. Let me know what you saw. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you thought was a good buy. Maybe you thought I'm silly for buying something. Anyway... Look for my guy, Chris. Fantastic deals. He took care of me. I took care of him with some good trades back. You'll find him at the Eastgate Mall Show, and you'll find him at the Xenia Ohio Show. Anyway, have a good night, everyone. Keep collecting. Hopefully, I can uh, find you for some trades on TCDB or some other stuff. See you all. Have fun in the hobby.